Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Car Mob. I'm James Slaywick, and today we're going to Autorama. It's the biggest indoor car show here in Michigan. It's kind of the kickoff to spring here in Michigan. It's March 1st, and we're going to head down to downtown Detroit, and we're going to go check out a bunch of cool cars. you guys we're in the car getting ready to merge onto the freeway here now I gotta go grab my dad and head downtown to Detroit to the car show still on my way to my dad's house as you can see we are in a traffic jam yay I love being in traffic, not. So, lucky for you guys, you won't have to sit in this traffic. All right, just grabbed dad from the house and we're heading on down to Detroit to uh, Cobo Hall to Autorama. Little downtown video for everybody. Renaissance Center. Uh, Here's my dad. We're hey. heading to Autorama. Go to Autorama. All right, you guys. Thanks an awful lot. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. Okay. Now we got ourselves a parking spot. Almost inside. Well, I got my ticket. I'm just going to wait for my dad to get out of the restroom and we're going in. All right, time to go in. <laughs> this is a sharp 1941 Willys. That is cool. The coyote. <laughs> I like the coyote swap. This is sharp. So. <laughs> Look at this thing. Definitely unique. Here. here we go look at this big this big girl right here the size of these turb skis dad enjoying his nectar is that wild america What do you guys think of this color, huh? Definitely has a unique power plant. Twin superchargers. Oh, that grill looks sharp. Oh, 
Oh, check out the trip doors. The, um, they shortened the body on this car. It's supposed to be a lot longer, and they shortened it. Yeah. Um, kind of looks cool, like Samuel Jackson would yes. have it. So cool. uh, I like it. That's sharp. Check out this Shelby. That would be cool. If you got a body in white, that would be cool to do, man. Oh my god. That's like a gun metal, right? Jim? Huh? It's a gun metal, right? Yeah, gun metal. I like it. At Autorama, they got everything. Look at this boat. I bet this is a lot of fun to take for a ride. So you'd have one of these? Mm -hmm. oh, what do you guys think of the 67 Chevelle? Oh yeah, no doubt. Nice Cobra before Shelby took over the project. I love these 03, 04 Cobras. Here's a little old school with some new school. A little look inside the interior. I like that suede leather with the red piping. Got a roll cage inside. All done by Cleveland Power Performance. Check out this Renault that was built in France. You see a little bit of everything here, you guys. Talk about gutted. Unrestored 1969 Cobra. Man, look at the interior of this thing. Like mint. That 428 in there. A little turbo action on the old. Myers makes or 1970 type. You don't see this every day. A battery fuel cell. Look at this rod. I'm telling you, man.
What do you guys think of the 1972 Pantera? Got that rear engine life. So that all they got is a couple of resonators and that's it. They got a glass tag. I love the headers on that. That yeah, is just neat, yeah. incredible work right there. Wait till you see this casket. This is cool. You get the sign. I'll get the sign. Now, if you've seen this car, look at who built it. 14 to 17 year old students. Good job, guys. Amazing work. We got a baby show so far, huh? We got a lot of really, really cool stuff here. And I'm only about halfway through the upstairs, and there's still a basement. Here's a little ride. Dragster. Right, No, that's not nitrous. Those are all the oil lines. Supercharged. And then all motor. That's fuel check right here. Yeah, but it's all motor. Look at this beautiful 55 Chevy. Oh, that's beautiful. Four on the floor. Check out this red Mustang GT. Looks almost like my Mustang GT, but it's a coupe, not a convertible. But under the hood lurks a nice supercharger. That would definitely give some power to the old 5.0. All right, you guys, who doesn't like the Batmobile?
Check this out, guys. International Scout. You don't see one of these every day. It's got the LED right. headlights. That is sharp. Apparently it's a scout over a Titan. In trucks, this engine, this six cylinder was right to the 80s. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I remember and that. With machine yeah. On board. Right, right. I know. Oh, wow. Well, see, I'll pull right in the back seat, but no, he'd have a Cadillac or something. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the whole thing. People were a lot smaller back then, too, man. So the old man says that the old Chevy will do 60 miles an hour top end, but if you run it too hard for too long, you'll seize the motor up because it doesn't have the good bearings like we have nowadays. Check out this old tow truck. There's dad. Hanging out in the background. One of my dad's most favorite cars in the whole wide world. 70 through 72 Nova. Actually, rephrase that. 68 through 72 Nova. It's got a little small block in it. See. What do you guys think of the VW bus tow rig? 57 VW single cab flatbed. I didn't even know they made these. Yeah, yeah. Right. Is there anything up front? Is this, is this time to take a break and get some lunch. It's Rotworth time. Oh, well, that's what's left of the old yeah, hot dog pizza. Definitely custom. This has got a little treat under the hood of this long bed pickup. Love these Fox bodies. Got a nice Vortec in there with a power cooler and a Brock intake. Three forty seven stroker. Interior is kept really nice and clean. Pony wheels. Love these notchbacks. I'll have to get mine on the road one of these days. Here's golf carton at its next level, guys. Look at this. Grab four homies, hop in, you got your off road tires. Like a little mini Raptor.
Grab all your homies, head down to the golf club. Go do some golfing. All right, you guys, that'll conclude today's video from the upstairs of Cobo Hall. We'll see you back tomorrow to shoot the basement.